What's up, guys? Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And I got called out by Crypto. Is, is this this thing on? <laughs> okay, I'll say it again. I got called out by Crypto. See, nobody cares. And that's because everything. You pulled against me as evidence was literally pulled from my own social media feed and YouTube channel. But I, I, I think I think in your research you missed this one. <laughs> I, unlike you, don't hide. Toodles. However, if after 13 years on the internet as a content creator, the worst you can pull was a few tweets from 2013 after being put under the microscope, I think I'm doing pretty well compared to some of these other YouTubers out there. I'm a toxic gossip train. <laughs> but what about crypto? Who is crypto? What are we going to find if we put him under the microscope after just four short years as a content creator? Well, crypto is a self-described being more edgy is sort of my thing. Who thinks he's cool trying to impress his heroes in the Borderlands community by trying to be some sort of white knight for Schiller 6. But instead is going to end up becoming his martyr. <laughs> he's like the little clinger on kid brother of the group that tries to insert himself into grown folks' business. So, Crypto, let, let's, let's go, bro. You want to act like a big boy? I'm going to treat you like a big boy. Crypto has been trying to get my attention for months now on YouTube and social media. But I wrote you, but you still ain't answered those tweets I showed off in the intro, so... Even going on a few minute rant in one of his videos a few months ago about how he ratioed me on Twitter. You know you really messed up when Crypto5 on Twitter ratios you with Lick My Balls Bozo. But failed to mention that he ratioed a reply to my original tweet which still three months later he's yet to muster up two more likes to ratio the original initial tweet a self-described edgy teen who thinks joking about himself beating on women is funny what are you gonna do? Tell people I made jokes about beating my wife? Okay, go ahead, Jay. That's the only thing I imagine you would bring up, and I, I just think it's funny because bro, I'm 18 years of age. I don't think I have a wife to hit. But oh boy, just you wait until I reach your age. That's a, that's a joke. Suicide jokes are funny. And uh, I hope to see the numbers high on this album, or else I'm gonna commit suicide. And... Child trafficking jokes are funny. Follow me on Facebook Marketplace, follow me on Pornhub, follow me on childtrafficking.com, like... But he can't handle a few tweets that were posted when he was five years old? <laughs> Maybe I'm just missing the humor in your child trafficking jokes during your Borderlands album release. Which, coincidentally, is also named Cuties and the Killers. Once again, a reference to a movie sexualizing 12-year-old girls on Netflix. But how are you gonna sit there and complain 
about me using the GGA version of the N-word when I grew up in Trenton, New Jersey, using that word and never having an issue in my life until I reached the internet and realized that the world is a lot bigger than the neighborhood that I grew up in. Now, how are you gonna sit there and make child trafficking jokes and then get offended because I called my friends? Yes, notice that there's San Francisco mentioned in one of the tweets because if you watched my Road to 30, I lived in San Jose, California, which is 20 minutes from San Francisco, which means that I have friends in the Bay Area. Or Foster Peters, who is Meek Sandwich Woman, who has been in some of my GTA content, another YouTuber that I used to play with. So that's every last cent, I swear. <laughs> Get out of here, Foster. <laughs> so, how are you gonna sit there and make these edgy jokes about beating women? I don't think I have a wife to hit. But oh boy, just you wait until I reach your age. That's a, that's a joke. Suicide. And uh, I hope to see the numbers high on this album, or else I'm gonna commit suicide. And child trafficking. Follow me on Facebook Marketplace. Follow me on Pornhub. Follow me on childtrafficking.com like but then get offended when i'm joking with a few of my friends on the internet how are you gonna sit there and prove me right in your hit piece about the battle pass now to acknowledge the situation here the battle pass thing was real and then ignore the fact that your hero shiller six spent weeks calling me a liar about the very info you posted in your video as a fact. Info that you yourself was misinformed by Killer6 when you commented on DPJ's video four years ago that this information was fake. But then you're going to get mad at me for doing the same thing to him that they did to me years ago. So, it's cool when they throw the first punch, but because I punch harder, I'm wrong for fighting back. It's the same thing in the Hellfire situation. K6 is allowed to have a knee-jerk reaction and fucking call fucking Hellfire out and call him a punk-ass bitch and all this other shit and try to intimidate him into fucking giving up what he shared with me. However... When, when fucking I punch back about him going off on a fucking tirade on Hellfire, I'm in the wrong. But because Schiller 6 immediately apologized for punching at Hellfire, it makes it okay? It makes it alright? Or is it because you were once a fan of me and you feel betrayed by my actions against the Borderlands community. I already know me and many of you grew up watching this guy alongside the other Borderlands OGs like Yo, Jolt, K6, Goth, Bar, the, the, the list goes on. And so this guy has played a pretty big role getting me into Borderlands and truth be told, if it weren't for Max role in the original Borderlands content creator scene, I, I, I really don't think I would be here right now. Or maybe you simply think that this is your ticket to getting in cool with Schiller 6 and growing your channel. But I, I, I want you to remember this. If that's the route that you're interested in taking, let me remind you that there has been zero growth in the smaller channels in the last past five years under the pillars of the Schillers. Please believe that. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you leave a thumb up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. If you really thought that spending 20 minutes making fat jokes and bringing up things that I've already taken responsibility for on my own channel, mind you, and through my actions haven't been repeated again since was going to be some compelling revelations. Guess what?
It's not that compelling. <laughs> All you've done is just shown that I've grown as a person over the years. Learned from my mistakes in the past. Owned up to these mistakes. And I've shown through my actions that I've learned and grown from them. Which is pretty much all part of being an adult. Which is why those tweets are still on my social media and haven't been deleted. Like some of the comments posted on your channel. <laughs> because sure, it would be easy to just hide from the things that I've done in my life. But that's the whole reason that my Road to 30 series exists. Is because I'm a person. I've made mistakes. And I've done some stupid shit over the years. Even on YouTube. But calling out corporate greed, fraud, and misrepresentation is not one of them. So I want to thank you for making that video on me. And showing me and the rest of the community just how much I've grown as a person over the years. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I want to appreciate you guys if you made it this far for watching. My name's Jay. More than after kill. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers. Later. Toodles. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, let me give you a, a little side note to this. I was laughing my ass off watching this video from Crypto. And he called me a Popeye's eating fat bastard. And I was literally eating a Popeye's chicken sandwich as I was watching that video. I was, I was fucking rolling, yo. I was cracking up. I was like, it ain't wrong, man. And like fucking Popeye's chicken is fucking delicious. And I mean, if you got a problem with me posting a video on my channel, trying to save people money and get them more chicken for their money, that's that's hilarious that you're trying to make fun of that while your buddy Schiller6 is literally trying to give you less, less game for the value by helping Gearbox devalue this series the way they've done over the last five years. I, I, I think that's just an interesting, funny side note to the hypocrisy that is being shown in this community right now. Well, I think we all learned a little something today. Not that.